Hi, my name is Paul. Welcome to the Learning Nets. Right, password recovery. Well, I'm sure uh, most of us at some point in our lives have forgotten one of our passwords. You know, we have so many passwords in the world today, it's surprising we ever get in anywhere these days. Uh, or most people have the same password for everything, actually, which is quite a, a security risk. But anyway, the purpose of this video is to show you how to reset the password on a Cisco 2800 series router. And I'm attempting to log into my router at the moment. Um, enabled to get me in. Uh, and I'm typing the password I happen to think it might be and I don't know it oh dear okay so I need to find a way to reset this password without losing the configuration on this router because this router has my host name which you can see on the screen London R1 it has all my IP addresses all my static routes my dynamic routes OSPF is running all my SNMP parameters are on there my my um, X servers everything else is on there uh, and I don't want to lose it it's a live router on a live network I do not want to lose that config just because I've forgotten the password or somebody has changed the password without telling me is what I would like to say okay so how do we do that well we have to stop the configuration file from loading so how do we do that well we need to reboot the machine and once we reboot the machine we can attempt to stop that file from loading so I'm gonna pause the video quickly now while I reboot this router and then we'll carry on from there back in a sec okay welcome back the router is about to restart I need to stop the router from loading the iOS because the iOS, the boot process says there's a bootstrap that runs. Once the bootstrap runs, um, it's going to look for the iOS. It's going to decompress the iOS and put it into RAM. And from there, it's going to attempt to load the configuration file, that same file that's actually locking me out. Okay, so obviously I do not want to load that file. Okay, so I've sent an interrupt sequence to the uh, router to prevent it from loading the iOS. And you can see that on the screen by saying it says there, uh, boot aborted due to user interrupt. When I'm using TerraTerm, the interrupt key and I'll show it you here is a send break so I can I can click on this now with my mouse and it will send an interrupt or I can type the uh, type in alt B and that will send an interrupt sequence to the router and it will stop loading I'm now in what's known as ROM one I'm in ROM one mode and this is where we can do a password recovery procedure okay and that recovery procedure is this I need to change the configuration the configuration register value um, from 2102 which is the default in other words when the default runs it will load the startup file to 2142 which prevents it from loading the startup file but obviously it will still load the iOS okay I want you to think about what will happen when the iOS loads and there is no startup file okay so here goes so there's 2142 and tells me I must reset or power cycle the device I don't particularly want to pull out the power because it's never good for any system to pull out the power and put it back in so I'm just going to type in a soft boot reset and there we go it is now going to reload okay I'm going to pause the video again um, and we'll come back to it when it reloads back in a sec okay the router is now reloading just about to come through Get a couple more seconds and we should be back in interface has just come up blah 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 now it says to me system configuration dialog this is what I call the wizard it's a user wizard, a user uh, prompt that will allow you to configure the device when there is no configuration on it. In other words, when I've just bought the router from the shop, Cisco have just delivered me a nice brand new shiny router, I put it on my desk, this is what I will see. There is no configuration file. Okay, so in other words, that 2142 stopped that file from loading that I have on RAM. I've not deleted that file, uh, that file is still there. Not from RAM, sorry, from MVRAM. Okay. So as a qualified engineer, I'm not going to say, yes, please tell me what I need to do. I'm going to say, no, I know what I need to do. And you, router, are not going to tell me what it is. So I just say, no. Okay, we'll let it run through a couple of its um, interface sequences now. It's going to go through a couple of tests, up and down, SNMP. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So my, have you noticed my host name has changed? My host name used to say London R1. It now says router, which means... That file that I had with the password and my host name and everything else is not loaded anymore. Okay. So I should be able to get into the enable mode, which I am. Which means I should be able to now copy that startup file that's locked me out into memory. Copy start config into running config. Here we go. Now look what happens to my host name as soon as I do this. The host name is immediately changed back to London R1. So I'm, in other words, I'm back in that configuration file that I was just locked out of a few seconds ago. Excellent. My router is now actually running. I'm back online. All the users that I were going through it before would actually be working. 
The only difference is I still haven't reset the password yet. So I need to go back and reset the password. And I go to conf t, and I go enable secret, and I just type in Cisco. Right, I've reset my password. What do you think I need to do next? Well, if I reboot the device now, what's going to happen? I'm going to lose all my changes because it's sitting in RAM. We need to save that back into MVRAM. Yeah? So I simply just say copy, run, start. Is that the file? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Now what do I need to do? Well, if I restart now, I'm going to go into what's known as an endless cycle of system dialog boxes because that, 210, that 2142 configuration register value is going to stop the startup file from loading no matter what I do. I'll show you what I mean. If I do a show version, at the bottom here you see the configuration for configuration register value is 2142, which means it will not load that configuration file no matter what I do. So I have to reset this value now. And the way I do that, I go back into my conf t mode. Uh, oh, sorry, type that wrong. Conf t, I go config dash reg, and I type in this time I must do the full hex sequence 0x2102. Okay, and that now on the next reboot, if I do a show version for you, it will tell me. It says down here, it says the configuration register is 2142. On the next boot, it will be 2102, which is excellent because that's what I wanted to do next time. I wanted to load that startup file. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is type in reload. It's going to ask me, do I want to save it? I already had, but I'll save it anyway just to make sure. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now while this reloads and hopefully we can get back in with the word, with the uh, password of Cisco okay my router's restarted it's gonna ask me for the password okay this is where we were before this is where we got stuck and we just changed it to Cisco if you recall I'll type in the letter Cisco and bang I'm back into my router that is the password recovery procedure if you can do the password recovery procedure and understand what you're doing you fully understand how Cisco routers operate. You understand all the memory functions with inside the router. And as we know in the CSNA exam, they love asking you questions, particularly about the number 2142 and 2102. You need to know the difference between the two. If they ask you a question, you are endlessly stuck in a configuration um, dialog box. In other words, you've just changed the, the configuration, saved it, rebooted the, the machine, and you stuck back to the configuration box. That will obviously mean you are still on 2142 and not 2102. Okay, I'd like to thank you for your time and sincerely hope you choose the LearningNet as your IT training center of choice. Thank you.